Hello everyone, so today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look that I created, as you can tell, and my eyeliner is like running, I don't want to smudge it, okay. So basically um, I went for kind of like a bronzy, very kind of over the top look. Um, I feel like the camera isn't picking it up as well as it is in person. It is just very glowy. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell and um, just very caked on. Like I feel <laughs> very cakey, but um, whatever, you know, do what you gotta do. So um, I created like this really um, kind of intense smoky eye, which literally I say the same thing in every video because I don't know what else to call it because it is an intense smoky eye. Um, using this Kiko Cosmetics Water Eyeshadow and that is like what the look is kind of based around. Um, so I have a review on this. Um, I will link it down below. This product is absolutely amazing, amazing. Like probably the best eyeshadow I've ever tried in my life. And um, I picked up another one because you know, girl had to pick up another one and um, I kind of centered the whole look around it so yeah if you guys want to learn how to get this look then just keep on watching so as always I'm starting off with a primer and I'm using my Urban Decay primer um, and this is the clear one I will have everything listed down below in terms of what I used because I don't even remember the names but I'm priming as you can see my lid and under my lash line and now I'm just taking soft brown from MAC and applying that into my crease because um, that is going to be our transition color To deepen up the crease, I'm taking Nooner, and this is by Early UK. And I'm just applying that into the crease as well, but um, with a sticker and a crease brush, concentrating it more um, into the crease. And now I'm taking the star of the show, and this is the Kiko Cosmetics Water Eyeshadow. And um, first I'm taking it with a regular brush, I'm not wetting the eyeshadow or anything. And I'm just applying it like that. And as you guys can see, it is very pigmented. And afterwards, I am taking um, a flat synthetic brush and applying it wet. And I will show you guys the difference on my other eye in the next clip. So you can see um, what it looks like just um, regular eyeshadow and then how much more intense it is with the watered down. So now I'm just taking a dark gray eyeshadow, also by Urban Decay, and I'm applying that into my crease, into the outer corner. And afterwards, I will take a blending brush and just blend all of that out so that there are no harsh lines and so that everything is just perfectly faded into one another. taking a black eyeliner and this one is my favorite is by Stila and it is just very pigmented very creamy easy to blend out and I just love it so much so now I'm just taking a flat synthetic brush and just blending that eyeliner out and it is going to look very smoky very intense and that is the look that I was going for so if you're not going for that then make it a little bit less smoked out you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing because it is a very intense look, as you guys can tell. And now I'm just taking a deep kind of brownish shimmery color and I'm putting it on top just to kind of blend that black out a little and make it look a little less harsh. And now I'm just taking this light shimmery color and using it as a highlight for my inner corner. And now we are moving on to lining the upper lash line. I am using my favorite gel eyeliner by Makeup Geek as always, and I am creating a wing. I'm not creating anything super heavy dramatic because I feel like the look is already dramatic and I don't want to just have black all over my eye. So I'm creating a nice wing, but I'm not making it very thick. But you can create whatever you want. If you're not into wings, then you don't even have to do a wing. You could just line 
the upper portion without being ring. And now I'm curling my lashes and applying mascara and mascara, which you guys know is Benefit Roller Lash. I have been loving this mascara, and I feel like it just makes my eyelashes look really nice to the point where I don't even have to put falsies on. So I really love that about this, because in this look, I'm not wearing any falsies. Moving on to the face, I decided to not show how I find my foundation um, because that is just very elementary and I feel like you guys have seen that so many times. But um, I'm just highlighting my face right now and um, I'm using my Maybelline uh, concealer which I love so so much. I feel like it just brightens up my face really nicely and just gives me the highlighted look that I want. I feel like this is like the best concealer I've ever used. Um, and I'm just blending it out with a blending brush. And then I am setting it with my Makeup Forever HD Setting Powder. And I'm concentrating it in just that area using a foundation brush. And for the rest of my face, I just kind of use the giant powder brush, which I didn't show either. Um, now I'm just doing my eyebrows, I'm not doing anything too crazy, I figured I would show you guys like really quickly because I mean I don't know if you guys want an in-depth video I can do one but I don't really do anything special with my eyebrows. Bronzing with my face using my new uh, Tarte bronzer which came in my Ipsy this month. If you guys want to see everything else I got, I will have that video linked down below. And I'm just kind of contouring a little bit more bronzing I would say than contouring. And um, yeah, I just really like how this bronzer works. It gives you a very glowy look more than a really chiseled kind of look. So I really like that. And now I'm just applying some blush and I'm mixing two different blushes from e.l.f. And um, yeah, so I'm just mixing them together and um, kind of lightly applying it with a stippling brush because they are very pigmented and I don't want to overdo it. So I will go back to the beauty blender to blend it out a little bit. And now I'm just highlighting my face with this new highlighter, which I also got in my Ipsy bag, which I'm actually obsessed with. And following that, I'm just lining my lips with a Milani pencil. Um, anything neutral will work for this look. Um, it could be a pinky nude or like a brownish nude. It honestly does not make much of a difference. And after I line my lips, I will be putting on a lippy stick like ColourPop. And um, I have been loving these. They are just really, really good quality. And um, I have a review on it, and I will link that down below as well in case you guys are interested. And that is the finished look. Don't forget to spray your face with some setting spray. And that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.